So next location from the last video is described as the best bit of woodland in the country by the man himself, Gary Goff. And now I've shot this last year, actually more than a year ago. I know from experience that we don't get the light first thing in the morning. We need to let the sun come over and round. That's exactly what I've done. So I've gone to a different location this morning and then I've come to this location to finish off the morning. And oh, have I made the right decision. We've got atmosphere, but we've also got light. And that can create something special up a moor near Matlock. Okay, 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 okay. So luckily, because I'm experienced a little bit in this area, I don't have to mess around too much. I know what I'm looking for and I know where to go. So my advice is, I think Gary Goff made a mistake, probably his only mistake ever, but I think he made a mistake that he didn't come in from the other end and shoot down. Because I think it just works better because you get the atmosphere down the bottom and you get the light coming through as well. So, uh, the next thing is, I would do, is a long lens. Bring, bring a wide lens, but it's a long lens job. That's my two tips for shooting this location. So, come a couple hours after sunrise, certainly in the winter months, and hope for the best. Today, I might have the best. It does look real juicy. I've got to get a camera out. The light's coming through already, and we've got atmosphere. Now, for me, I don't think you need a particularly high tripod. Height isn't really a, a critical thing as such. Um, sometimes you can actually get low. Um, for me, it's the long lens. Focusing deeper into the woodland, into this this avenue of trees. And then the next thing I'm gonna wait for is the light, which is happening down the bottom now. So another tip I'm gonna give you is, you need to keep to the right hand side. That'll stop all the eye lights coming through, unless we had it really foggy in the field, because this is just a field, it's just a ploughed field. Why I've stopped here is there's a couple of things. I'm, I'm in at 135 mil. There's some foreground rocks that are put on the bottom third of the image. We've got some rocks in the foreground <coughs> that are about 30 yards from me, 20, 30 yards from me. That's my foreground. We've got some lovely interesting trees on the left hand side and we've got some beautiful light down there in the distance. And the next thing you need to do is just keep working it. Keep moving up and down work in the shop. What I'm after is a bit of that light and it's the reason why I come here this morning because the light was starting to come through that fog, burning that fog off and I got there, I got there to the location at past seven in the morning so I've shot there for an hour or so, two hours and then I thought yes this will work, this will work. Conditions are looking good and I think it's going to be a beautiful morning. The only disappointing thing for me, and it looks like they're going to put barbed wire fence all the way up here, which will, it doesn't particularly spoil it, but it's just a shame. They're going to put it behind the wall. They've repaired the wall. The wall was being repaired when I come, and it was being repaired when Gary come. So, um, and it looks like it's finished now, it's completed. All they're gonna do is put some posts and some barbed wire on top, I think, what it's like down there, or some fencing wire anyway, I'm not sure if it's barbed wire. Now the light at the moment is shafting through from this left-hand side as well, um, which is really helping the composition. 
And what I remember from before is you can move backwards or forwards and work with that light as well. But at the end, it's quite open at one end where you can walk through. And that's where the light comes through, obviously the most. So that's where you get proper shaftage. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go down a little bit, even though I like this light penetrating through here. I do like the light coming through. The only thing that puts me off here is, is it's coming through a few of the alley bushes, which is just a shame. But I'm sure if it can come through here, it can come through further down. It's got to. Let's move down a bit. So the camera's set up there. And I'm incorporating these, these logs on the right hand side here. So if I zoom back in, I'm just trying to sort to of get a composition somewhere around there with those logs in on the left hand side. And all I'm waiting for now is a nice bit of light and trying to isolate these highlights on the right hand side as well. So there's two places to park to come to up more. Right on the other end, you walk through a little woodland, not very far, five minutes and you come out at the bottom end here where I'm shooting down. Or if you come round the corner, you can park in a little lay-by. It'll get four or five cars in. And it's, it's literally a 30 second walk over the road and you've been the, the front of the, the start, of, let's say, of the, this beautiful avenue. So access is really good, really easy, which is great because I struggle with access. So the pathway, it's not wheelchair friendly, but there's no, there's no hardship walking down it. If you, if you're steady enough on your feet, absolutely no problem. So it's a fantastic location to visit. Like I say, what I would do is I would definitely visit certainly in the winter months. Um, I've, I've come in November, December, obviously this is March now and the light still comes from that side and it comes up late morning. So, well, say late morning. So you're looking at um, nine o'clock onwards, let's say. We're getting some beautiful light at the minute and I've actually moved back a little bit. So you don't need to get here for sunrise, not unless you want to scope the place out, which is a good thing as well. So maybe get here for eight o'clock, go walk up and down it, see what you like. Try and pick some characters out of these overhanging trees and have a look what that left hand side's like as well, depending on which way you shoot. And shoot both ways, definitely shoot both ways. I just think with the light, early morning works the best. And we are getting some beautiful, beautiful light. I would like a little bit of shaftage, but you know what? This light's a, it's harsh enough, but still soft because it's coming through atmosphere. I'm conscious of where the rocks are on the foreground. So I don't want to be halfway through one of the rocks on that bottom part. I have got some olive bush on the left hand side, which is a little bit, but there's olive bush all the way in there. So you're not going to, um, you're not going to get rid of that. So I, I'm sort of trying to use it as my, to my advantage and it's darkening this left hand corner up. In between these trees, we've got a lot of highlights coming through and you'll just blow them out unless you really bracket the shot if you're letting some of that through. If not, you've got to position yourself close to the wall and use that longer lens. And don't dismiss walking up and down. I mean, look at it from behind. It looks pretty spectacular. And I might go back up there and look back down. The reason why I like it from here as well is because the trees on the left look nice. As a just behind you is a couple of stumps that have been blown over. I can't remember them being here last time, so maybe they're quite new, but they're a little, little bit messy. Not too bad, but a little bit. So that's why I've chosen, I'm sort of a third of the way down, let's say, just over a third of the way down. Them lights and shadows that it's casting there are just superb. So I'm trying to catch that now. So we're getting a soft bit of shaftage coming through, which is really nice actually, and it does suit the composition quite well, that softer light. I do like that just in the end of the tunnel there. 
But what I do like about it is as well is I'm, I've got the composition where it's set where I'm incorporating these couple of logs on the left hand side and the light's catching that as well. Beautifully actually, I'll keep, I'll keep firing away at the moment because that light's beautiful, it's just coming through and, and the shadows are pointing towards me as well which is another good thing because that, that sun is actually literally right in front of us but just blocked off by these trees and that diffused light. We're getting some nice light again. Okay, <laughs> try and get another image. So I'm just gonna change my composition just slightly again. Third of the way in. Oh, grab that. Oh, look at that light now, it's juice. We're getting that light all coming all the way through now. If anything, I'm gonna moan. <laughs> it's a little bit too much. So I'm not going to bore you with all the rest of it. I'm not going to keep you hanging on and let you wait for that light. So I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a thoroughly fantastic location. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.